Hey everyone, quick update. Um, we're currently just at the end of winter here in Australia. Uh, it's currently about 16 degrees outside. Uh, this, these are some of the, this is currently the highest I've seen my solar producing. Um, and obviously just before I got the camera, we're actually just over a little bit higher, about 644 watts, so just over 50 amps at 12.7 volts, so yeah, we're doing quite quite well today, so um, the batteries are in need of a good, good bit of a charge, so currently, yeah, we're at 12.7, I mean, but that's charging, so if, if you reduce that down, if, if I stop charging now, the voltage would probably drop down to like 12.3 or something, so quite a bit lower than what it's at, so yeah, and now there's a few clouds overhead and around the place, so it's sort of fluctuating a lot, so yeah, just wanted to give you a quick bit of a update, see what sort of power I'm getting out, so yeah, um, the controller is a PCM 60X, it's a 60 amp uh, MPPT controller. I got it on eBay. Uh, it's not so it's it's done really well. I'm really happy with it. So it's a really solid unit. It just works and it works great. So and for the application that I wanted um, to have the three panels all in series, so just over 100 volts. So, yeah, it's definitely a lot easier than running much heavier cables all the way down here and then using a, PP M a PWM controller and then you, have, then you end up paying more for your panels because currently this one's 20, 12 volts and 12 volt panels are generally a bit more expensive than 33 volt ones I've got. So yeah, you know, it's all pluses and minuses really. So I've I've done it this way. So I've got three 250 watt panels in series, which gives me a normal voltage of about 100 volts. So um, my current is about eight amps at my 750 watts input into the sky. So. And it's it's a lot easier than running a heavier gauge cable, and so instead of having 51 amps or even 40 amps coming from the panels to here, your voltage drop is going to be significant, uh, especially being at such low voltage. Uh, your voltage drop is going to be significant, so your power loss is going to be significant. So this this way is more efficient in that that regard. Um, the cabling, depending on your run, your cabling can be quite expensive. So I've got a mix of a four mil cable and a six mil cable running now. So yeah, it's 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 not a single item you're weighing things up against. It's it's multiple items that you have to factor in how much you've, you, you've got to spend. So if, if, you, if you don't have the money to spend on things like this, because I didn't at the start. At the start, when I started building all this, I, I didn't have this fancy controller. So um, yeah, I started with figure eight speaker cable and a small 60 watt solar panel and some secondhand batteries. So that's where I started and a controller I found on the internet that I built myself. The controller still works, it's still running, it's a great little controller, you know, 700 watts, so that's awesome. Um, so it's, it's, some, it's, a, it's a hobby that progresses over time and how you design it changes, uh, the money you can spend on it changes. And doing it with these controllers, like I can, I can go. Okay, I've got a 12 volt system now, but I know, I know, I want to go to a 48 volt one. I will go to a 48 volt system at some point in the future. 
So with this controller, I've got 12 volts because 12 volts is easy at the moment and everything I've got is for 12 volts. But in the future, I go 48 volts and it, it automatically will change its output voltage. I have to go in, set, set the parameters up for charge and charge voltage and stuff, but it's, it's so easy. So yeah, just want to have a little chat YouTube. I uh, hope this is helpful for someone.